Hi, I'm Paul Stubbs. I'm a marketing director for Microsoft Artificial Intelligence and Research. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about building an intelligent bot. Now, we think about bots today, bots offer a clear business value that users are very interested in. First, we notice that messaging channels are really the channels that users are using to reach out to each other, to access information, and they're downloading and installing less applications on their mobile devices, and they're accessing messaging applications more than social applications at this point. So we also want to have a nice way for them to gather that information in an intelligent way that can bring together information that they couldn't easily find in a single application. We also want to enable them to capture information in a more natural way, and bots enable a conversational style interface that really enables people to communicate in the ways that they're used to with other humans. And finally, we want to automate all of these, this information and make it easy for them to get information they want and increase the productivity of not only workers, but users and consumers. But it's important to think that it's not only important to create a bot, you want to create an intelligent bot. An intelligent bot is more than just a conversational interface. It's a conversational interface attached to intelligent data and intelligent services on the back end. And Microsoft has a number of mechanisms and services available to provide that intelligence. One of them is cognitive services. Cognitive services is a series of services that enable you to do things like vision and speech and knowledge. And in fact, today in the demo, we'll show you how to use Q&A Maker to access a knowledge base to leverage that inside of your bot. But in this scenario, you can imagine that you're a call center, and a call center of the future, you'll want to, as a consumer, to communicate with that call center or with that company using a natural conversational interface, a bot. And then you'll communicate with the backend services that are surfaced through things like uh, your data centers, through systems like CRM, uh, the Microsoft Graph, Office 365. And then the operations team inside the company will be able to access information and train that bot and train that learning on the fly from feedback from the end users. So what that means is that the system is continually learning and continually getting more appropriate for the user, and the user satisfaction goes up because they're learning and continually evolving their answers. So in this demo, I want to show you how to actually connect the Microsoft Bot Framework to an intelligent bot service using Q&A Maker. OK, so now let's take a look at how to build an intelligent bot. We can use the bot framework to easily build our conversational bots, but that doesn't necessarily make them intelligent. We can also leverage other services, such as cognitive services. And in fact, let's show how to use Q&A Maker to look at a knowledge base or an FAQ and add that knowledge to our bot to make our bot intelligent. So in this case, if we go out to a Q&A maker.ai, we can actually add services. So let's create a new service. And the first thing we need to do is give our service our name. So let's call it AMP bot. And now we actually need a location that we're going to get our knowledge from or an FAQ. And let's go back and actually use the one from the bot framework. So if we go to documentation, you can see the bot framework has an FAQ. So if we just click on that, copy the URL to that FAQ, and put that into our FAQ URL location. We can add additional ones. We can also add files that we upload. Uh, in this case, all we want to do is click on Create to create the new knowledge base. Once a knowledge base is created, we have a series of question-answer pairs here that were generated from the FAQ from the bot framework site. So if we actually click on test, we have a chat-like experience that we can actually test uh, information. So we can say, hi, we get back a response. We can say, when did the bot framework start? And we get back information about uh, when the bot framework started. But at this point, we just have a service. So let's go ahead and click on Publish. And we'll click Publish again after verifying the information. Now our service has been published. Our knowledge base has been created. But we still don't have a bot. At this point, we just have an HTTP service that we could call from any application, including our bot. So to create the bot, we're going to actually use the Azure Bot service in order to do that. 
So let's go ahead and log into the Azure portal. And from here, we can create a new intelligence and analytics bot service. We can name our bot, so we'll call it AMP bot. And we can also give it a name for the resource group and click create. So our bot service now has been successfully deployed into Azure. So we're able to come down to our app services and choose our new bot. To get started, we'll create a new Microsoft app ID. This is generated using the same name as our bot by default. So we'll copy the app ID that was created and paste that back into our bot. We also need the password, so let's go back out to the app site, click Generate App Password, and copy our password. We'll paste that in. Now we can choose our language, C Sharp or Node.js. In this case, we'll choose C Sharp. And we have a number of templates to choose from. We want to choose Question and Answer, and click Create Bot. This will enable us to select the bot that we created earlier, so we'll choose AMP Bot and click OK. Once our bot is generated, we've now connected our bot to our Q&A Maker service. And so we have a test window on the side that we can actually start typing in chats to see if it's working. So we can say, when did the bot framework start? And you can see that our bot was working. We're connected to our bot service. But we still don't actually have a bot yet. So let's go ahead and actually connect it to a channel. In this case, we will use Skype. We could choose any number of channels here available. Click on Add to Skype. Then the Skype window opens, and we can choose Add to Contacts. Here we can actually type now to our bot. So we can say, hi. We can say, when did bot framework start. And you see that we're actually communicating back through the Azure Bot service directly to our Q&A Maker service that we created earlier. Now, what we can also do is if we jump back to Q&A Maker, we can go back and edit our service some more. Let's say that we realize that we missed a question or we want to add additional questions to our thing. Here, we can come here simply and do Add New Q&A Pair. And let's say if somebody says hello, we're going to have hello to you too. What we'll do is we'll save and retrain our model. We can republish our model. And then jumping back directly to our Skype client, we can now say, hello. And we get back the response that we just added. So once you have the plumbing in place, you don't need to go back and redeploy your bot. The business user or the subject matter expert can go and continue to tweak the knowledge base and the key value pairs, and the users will see those results immediately. So in this demo, you've seen how to create an intelligent bot using Cognitive Services and Q&A Maker, the bot framework, and Azure Bot Services to create a channel to create a Skype bot. And so we have a number of customers using the bot service. And I want to highlight one customer, Rockwell Automation. And Rockwell Automation is using the bot framework and Cognitive Services to create a bot called Shelby. Shelby is giving them access to their production line so that the line operators and managers can understand through a conversational interface what's happening on the production line. And Shelby, using the bot framework, provides that conversational interface and makes it much easier for them to understand their business and communicate with operations on their business floor.
So I want to have really three call to actions for you. The first is to go out to the botframework.com site and really discover the bot framework and use it and try to create some bots. The second is go out and look at cognitive services and explore all of the cognitive services available from Face API to Q&A Maker to Speech to Search to Knowledge. And then finally, look at Cortana Intelligence. Cortana Intelligence services are a series of services such as machine learning and data services in Azure to really provide you rich, deep machine learning and artificial intelligence solutions. Thank you for watching this presentation, and I look forward to seeing the bots that you create.